Well, it's been a rough couple months in the Lynch household. All four of us have been sick multiple times this first two months of 2017. And my son, the latest this week, he's watching right now. Hello, Nathan. Temperature of 103 degrees this week. And in my prayers for my son, I'm reminded of how my Father in Heaven feels about me as his son. I reminded God how much we love that little boy, how much Nathan loves our Father in Heaven. I quoted promises of Scripture about God giving Nathan a hope and a future if he trusted him with all his heart, because he does. But there are kids playing outside, and he's not. He's sick, and activities have had to been canceled. School's been missed. If only he could get rid of that sickness. That was my prayer. My heart's desire for my son is a glimpse of our Father's desire for us to be well. His desire centered on loving his creation as stubborn and selfish and unfaithful as we may be. I'm reminded how much God, our Father, still pursues us. It's becoming one of my favorite passages of the school year, penned by the hand of King David. Take a look. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I'll live in the house of the Lord forever. Do you know your Father pursues you? Do me a favor right now, before you do anything else, talk to him during this next commercial break. He wants to know how you're feeling. He just wants to be a part of your life and to show you the best pathway possible. He's a good father. And I bet talking to him is going to make you feel a lot better, too.